Imagine life without plastics, where an abacus is a computer. A crowing rooster, your alarm clock, without a snooze button. Life without plastics is life without convenience. Right now, you're probably touching it, seeing it, hearing it. Plastics, reliable, recyclable, and safe for your health and the environment. Visit plasticsinfo.co.za. This message is brought to you by Plastics SA. military weapon becomes tomorrow's peacetime instrument. Plastics will play as large a role in peace as they do in war. Here is a plane containing hundreds of plastic parts. Here another bonded by plastics. This paratrooper floating down to welcome Mother Earth is depending on plastics to get him there safely. His parachute is made of nylon, a plastic. As for plastics in peace, here they are in our homes, augmenting our comforts, serving our needs. When we take to the open road, we find them again in our car. Plastic, plastic, plastic. What are plastics? Industrialization has resulted in a vast array of disposable plastic products, which generate huge amounts of trash. As the world's population grows, even more plastic garbage is thrown away. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is the result of commodities consumption. It's a giant floating dumpster in the Pacific Ocean that contains nearly 3.5 million tons of trash. The Pacific Patch is actually two distinct areas, the Western Pacific Garbage Patch, located between Hawaii and Japan, and the Eastern Pacific Garbage Patch, which floats between Hawaii and California. 80% of debris in the Great Patch comes from land. The rest comes from recreational boaters and large cargo ships, which drop about 10,000 steel containers of garbage into the sea each year. 90% of this trash is plastic. 
plastic bags, packaging material, bottles, and fishing nets, to name just a few. 70% of these plastics sink to the bottom of the ocean or to just below the surface. The rest floats and eventually washes up on our shores. Plastic waste is a major source of marine pollution and changes the chemical makeup of water. Plastic isn't biodegradable. The microbes that break down other substances don't recognize plastic as food, leaving it to float forever. Sunlight does eventually photodegrade the bonds in plastics, causing them to fragment. Unfortunately, this plastic debris is often mistaken for food by marine animals. Albatross are frequently found with stomachs full of plastic. Plastic bags have been found blocking the breathing passages and stomachs of many marine species. Abandoned fishing nets and six-pack bottle rings entangle animals. Plastic releases toxins and acts as a chemical sponge. It concentrates many damaging pollutants found in oceans including DDT. When broken into small pieces, plastic becomes microscopic. Toxic chemicals released by plastics are absorbed by tiny marine organisms and so enter the food chain. These chemicals then become much more concentrated than they would be in the surrounding water. As these plastics go through the food chain, the concentration of toxic chemicals rises. Jellyfish eat toxic plastic pieces, which are then eaten by larger fish that often end up being consumed by humans. Toxic chemicals cause hormone disruption. In men, this leads to serious health problems, including cancer, immune system damage, behavioral problems, and reduced fertility. How long would this continue before a man realizes the damage is irreversible? Many transparent bottles and jars are made from a type of plastic called polyethylene terephthalate or PET. An automated mixer combines PET pellets with flakes of recycled PET. Reprocessed plastic loses some of its physical properties, so the recycled content can exceed 10%. The PET drops from the mixer into a plastic injection machine that heats it to a piping 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The dry raw material melts into thick and gooey liquid plastic. The machine then shoots it at high pressure into a mold. This plastic injection molding process casts pieces of plastic called preforms, starter shapes that subsequent machines will transform into bottles or jars. The molded preforms harden almost instantly thanks to a built in cooling system. These preforms are now on their way to becoming single serving juice bottles. This is another plastic injection molding machine. It uses the same method to make preforms for a different model, one and a half to two liter bottles. The preform's next stop is a machine called a reheat stretch blow molder. In a matter of seconds, it heats each preform just enough to make the plastic malleable, then inserts a rod to stretch the preform lengthwise, while at the same time blowing in air at extremely high pressure. This forces the preform into a bottle shaped mold. Cold water circulates within the mold to cool and set the plastic almost instantly. 
This lightning fast machine churns out 10,600 bottles per hour. No wonder we've had to show it to you in slow motion.